Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mile High Living. I'm Gina Belich. We're going to begin today with our Home Pros segment, and we have our resident HVAC Home Pros in the house, Colorado Discount Heating and Cooling. I'm here with Colin and Keiko and her furry friend, who's also, this is, go ahead, say her name. Kita. Kita is with us as well. They're going to help us save some money during these cold winter months. What a wonderful day to be talking about this, right, guys? Welcome. So glad to have all of you here today. We're going to get to Kita here in just a second. First, let's start off, Colin. Okay, let's. This is type of weather. We haven't really been able to escape this cold this winter. It has been crazy cold. So let's really talk about, you know, when our heating systems, when they tend to break down, what are some of the common causes of those? Because a lot of us just expect them to work, right? We just turn them on and think they're gonna be there when we need them. Yeah, so instead today, instead of going into parts and pieces that may fail, we're gonna talk about four categories. Um, we've broken it into an acronym called DIAL, D-I-A-L. Uh, D stands for design error. So homes are built, systems are put in, they don't always fit the same, they don't always work the same, people add on to their homes, design needs to change. Um, so does the system with the home. Uh, the I stands for installation error. Um, installers. Not always the best sometimes, cutting corners, you have to be careful who you hire, mm -hmm. um, following codes, uh, not doing the right thing, take doing shoddy work, that can, that can be a, a reason for breakdown down the road as well. The A stands for age, wear and tear, just like any mechanical system, over time it's going to wear out, parts are gonna fail, there's warranties for a reason, you have to uh, pay attention to the age of it to see how long it's gonna last. Lastly, with the L for, for, uh, for lack of maintenance, we talk routinely on this show about maintaining systems, taking care of it once or twice a year. And if that's not done, there's your fourth category for breakdowns. That is perfect. I love how we can think of it in those terms. Now, then we kind of go on to the things that maybe we as homeowners can do before we give you guys a call, right? Are there certain things we can be looking for or doing maybe to help us extend the lifetime of, of our unit at, or before we give you guys a call? Yeah, that's a great question. It's kind of ironic because the number one reason for these repairs is often the easiest thing to do. It's check your filter. So your air filter, think of it as your first line of defense, right? And this is especially true if you have pets um, like I do. As you can see, she's quite furry. Um, and all of that fur, all of these dust and allergens, they're floating through your hair through your home and right through that system and that's your first line of defense for your furnace as well as the air that we breathe in every day so it's so important to check that. Now some of us don't know how old our furnace is or when it was replaced or if it even needs to be replaced so how can you guys help us out? Based on age you're looking in for a furnace for 15 to 20 years that's when the most uh, valuable components in your system your heat exchanger is going to run out of warranty other components five to ten years so you want to start looking at that time um, depends on usage as well. So if you've got some miles on it, you know, take, it's not been taken care of, you just acquired a home and you're not sure how well it's been taken care of, have an evaluation done and we can determine how well it's working for you. Perfect, I like that. Let's talk about dogs, okay? Uh, Why did you yes. bring her in today? Yeah, so one, two, show just how much fur these <laughs> things can produce. With your black pants. That's no, I better. know, it was a great decision, truly. Um, but also because I, so this is Kita, as I've said, um, and I adopted her about six years ago. And any pet owner can tell you that animals are expensive to care for. Um, so that's why Colorado Discount has chosen to partner with the local Humane Society of South Platte. So anytime that you choose Colorado Discount, you're choosing to give back a little bit to that community. Um, every customer we receive, every invoice is dollar matched and goes to support them. So they can support dogs like Kita until they can find their forever homes. I like that. Enjoy them in your home and also when you know you're giving just to a good cause, you guys are also helping that out as well. Yes. This is something, what about specials for our viewers, especially as we're in the, the midst of winter? So we're not out of winter as we can tell today and I don't think uh, it's going to happen tomorrow either. So always get your furnace maintained. Um, it's not too late. Um, it's, it's something that you need to do twice a year because your furnace works with your air conditioner and your heater. So if you didn't have it checked all summer and you haven't had a check this winter yet, we're offering a $59 special to have a tune-up done um, for the first five callers. I love that. All right, guys, thanks so much for being with us I'm, and bringing your special guest as well. <laughs> if you want unparalleled heating and cooling service at unbeatable prices, go ahead, call the home pros at Colorado Discount Heating and Cooling today. 
They are licensed, insured, and bonded, and they offer 24-7 service at no extra charge. And that, as they said, for the first five callers that mention Mile High Living, you can get a $59 furnace tune-up. Give them a call, 303-566-1090, or visit their website at calldenverhvac.com. They paid for today's segment. We'll be right back.